Hello there. Welcome to Ashlar's Mind. This is the first in a series of hopefully many video blog entries that I'll make in the near future. The topic of this entry is temperature. The reason I chose this topic is because it is the conversation I was having with the musician friend of mine that prompted me to start this channel in the first place. We were on break at a gig here in New Orleans and we were talking on the break Lots of times we talk about the music business and about gigs and what we're doing, but at some point I brought up the topic of temperature and how we take it for granted. And what I mean by that is we don't take for granted the measurement of temperature that we have. Here in the United States we have degrees Fahrenheit, and everywhere else they use degrees Celsius, and in science they use degrees Kelvin. And you know we know from our measurements that water, for example, will boil at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And we also know that water will freeze at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So we know scientific information about temperature. In that respect, we don't take it for granted. These things have been tested by scientists and physicists for years, and many of us learn them in school. However, the actual human experience of temperature is a very subjective one. And when confronted with that reality, Asking myself, what is temperature? Will we say hot, cold, warm, lukewarm, room temperature? We have these words that we use to explain it. But is there really an objective reality with temperature? For example, what I mean by that is we know that water, for example, will boil at 100 degrees. And we can all probably agree that 100 degrees Fahrenheit is hot. We would all say it's hot. But my question that I enjoy pondering, because I don't believe that there is a definite answer, is if we can say 100 degrees is hot, and we can say that 32 degrees is freezing cold, literally freezing cold based on the freezing temperature of water, what is the exact temperature, the measurement, where cold becomes warm? And where does warm become hot? Like we, Again, with the extremes, it becomes much simpler to look at and say, well, 100 degrees is hot, 32 degrees is cold. But is 80 degrees still hot? And if so, then is 79 degrees? And once we get to 60 degrees, we might be saying that's warm. But where did, where did warm, where did cold become warm? Was it at 59 degrees was cold and now 60 degrees is warm? And I would imagine that we all have a different answer for this. And I don't know that, you know, this is the kind of thing that is thought about very often. But I, like I said, my mind is extremely active. I like to ask these questions because they make me think you know, more deeply about my reality and I endeavor on a daily basis to try not to take aspects of the life that I live for granted. So something as simple as temperature, you know, it occurred to me to think about that and I would welcome any thoughts that anybody in the community has about this. Do you think that there is a specific point? I don't personally believe that there is a specific point. I think we just generalize these measurements of a human experience that we have. Another thing that I read recently is I believe it was the ancient Greeks who did an experiment that showed the subjective nature of temperature, which is if you take your right hand and place it in a bowl of warm or hot water, and you take your left hand and you place it in a bowl of cold water, and then take both hands and place them in a bowl of room temperature or lukewarm water, the hand that was in the hot water will still read the room temperature water as hot, and the hand that was in the cold water will still read the lukewarm water as cold. And I believe that there's you know, physics explanations for this as well, probably something to do with the uh, transfer of the temperature, the re residual temperature that was left over in the way we're reading it in our hands. But that, the physical and scientific facts aside, you know, the subjective nature of temperature is something that uh, prompted a lot of thought and it's actually provided a lot of really fun discussions I've had with friends and colleagues over the last few years. So I encourage you to share your thoughts on this video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and look out for videos in the future on other topics. They won't all be about physics, they won't all be about philosophy. It's going to keep changing and again I also welcome suggestions on topics for future videos. So. Thanks for tuning into this one. I hope to see you all really soon, and I look forward to reading your comments.